this is one of those rare instances where you actually have to help a chick out of an egg. And this chick has been apparently stuck in the same position for several hours now. And usually when chicks start pecking their way out of an egg, they'll pip, that is they'll make the first peck. And for this chick, a piece is broken off back here, but for this chick, the first pip was right here, right at this point. And then he very gradually worked, <coughs> or she, or hopefully it'll be a him. Anyway, this chick gradually worked its way this way, just chipping upwards at the shell with its beak all the way around until it got to where it is now. And there it's just stuck. But the way that this usually goes is they'll make the first pip back here somewhere and then sit there. They might sit there for even close to 24 hours with just the first pip made. And then they gradually work their way around and they kick their way out. Now, occasionally, you'll have an instance like this, where the chick just seems to sort of get stuck. Rolling off my lap here. Where they just seem to kind of get stuck, and like they just can't make any more progress. And so sometimes they need help. Now, you very rarely, almost practically never, want to try to pick the shell off a chick that's just pipped. But if they're halfway around it like this and then stuck, that is not usually a normal position. They can stay like that for even a few hours and be just fine. But if they don't ever work out of that position, they can die inside the shell. And it's weird. I don't know why they get stuck like that sometimes. Um, maybe if the humidity is too low or something in the incubator. But every once in a while it happens. And then you yeah, had to just very gently pick off the shell and I still try to let the chick do as much of the work as possible um, but they do need a little bit of help sometimes so I'm just gonna kind of help it here and the reason that you don't want to help them sooner is because it takes a while for them to absorb all the egg yolks sometimes and there have been cases especially when we first started uh, hatching some chicks in the incubator where if you help them too early and they haven't absorbed all the egg yolk the chick I don't think I've ever had one survive if it didn't have the yolk absorbed um, and it can get to be a real mess sometimes and they either die or you end up having to put them down so um, you do not want to help them too early it's very unusual that you have to pick a shell off but knowing when to do it can save you some chickens lives and so I'm going to start on the opposite side from where it is wait do I want to start on the opposite side I think I'll, I'll work on both sides I'm just going to try to get this adjusted so that I can use both hands and still make it all right so I'm going to start on this side first and I'm just going to gently pick off a little bit of the shell and also the membrane here. Now, that was a much bigger piece of shell than I normally like to pick off at a time. I try to pick off as little as possible so that the chick can still do most of the work. I'm just gonna make sure that it can kind of get through that. Okay, it's got some movement there. Now I'll pick off this piece. like sometimes they get tangled up in a position where they almost can't move and sometimes you have to help them quite a bit and sometimes not very much but hopefully this one won't need much help
and like I said, I've had my eye on it for a few hours, I've been listening to it, and once you've hatched a few chicks, you kind of start learning what the different sounds mean, and uh, this one has been sounding like it was trying to work its way out, and was kind of in some distress from not being able to. So there's still quite a lot of shell left on here, as you can see. Oh, but I'm going to leave it and it work through this membrane a little bit. And then I'm just going to kind of leave it as it is, just in case it hasn't absorbed all the yolk yet. It can still get plenty of air. And it can, um, it has a little more wiggle room in there now, just a little bit. But it's still lively and not lethargic at all or anything like that. doesn't seem to be in too much distress. But it is breathing quite hard. Um, that's fairly normal too. I don't know if it's showing up on video. But you can see its side kind of heaving there. From its hard breathing. So I'm going to go stick it back in the incubator. Give it some more time. And after I try to work through this membrane a little bit. Just kind of gently scratching that with my nail. I'm going to try to tear it a little bit. There you go, Chicky. Frankly, I'm just a little bit concerned. It's a little bit damp and yellowish here. Almost like there's still some of the unabsorbed. I don't think that's the case. But. It's been such a nightmare whenever I have picked the shell off too early that I don't want to risk that. So I'm just going to go stick them back in the incubator and see what happens next. This little guy's still stuck in his shell, so I guess I'll have to help him a little bit more. No, it didn't yet. I'm going to help it out. Yeah. It's been stuck like this for like hours. Now I've left him for a while to see if he could make his own way out, and he didn't. <clears throat> so now I'm going to kind of help him finish the job. So I'm just going to gently pick off some more shell, right in the same pattern that he would use if he was um, working his own way out. And I'm just going to kind of slit this membrane very gently with a piece of the eggshell. I think everything is very dry here. This chick is very dry. So I think the problem why he wasn't able to get out on his own is because the humidity in the incubator was too low. So that's something to keep in mind for the future is make sure that I raise the humidity. When you're incubating eggs, you're supposed to raise the humidity three days before they hatch. And I didn't keep it up real well. So this is one of those situations where it probably could have been prevented. There was some confusion as to who was um, in charge of incubating the eggs this time and kind of caused some trouble. No, Flora, you can't help. Go away. Thank you. Cleon, you can't help either. All right, so I think this little guy is just about ready to come out. So you can see, this is what a chick would normally do. It would work its way from somewhere around here all the way, almost all the way around the shell to the point that it could break out. But of course that didn't happen this time. I'm not seeing any signs of egg yolk, so I think it was the right time to help this guy. So now I'll just kind of pull that away a little bit and let him feel that there's room to expand there. And he also, or she, also started chipping pretty close to the end of the egg instead of in the middle. It's easier for them to work their way out if they start in the middle, but uh, it's a tighter space if they're at the end. And this chick seems so jammed in there that I think I'm just going to have to open the egg and let it out. I don't like doing that. I think it's good for them to kind of have the struggle of getting out, but um, and they have to. Here. 
Get some more room. Okay, it was also kind of stuck to the... Come on, Chicky. You can do this. So I'm just going to kind of gently break away some more of this shell. I have an audience here behind me. Over here. Leon, you want to help? Oh, sorry, Joe, you can't. Yeah. Sorry. I don't think you would make a very good foster mother if I did. Go away. Alright, he's still having some troubles. Humidity was definitely low. This chick is all dried out and kind of stuck to the eggshell. That's what happens when you have low humidity. That's also um, can be a result of having a large opening in the shell for quite a long time, like you did. Flora, go away. There you go, baby. Yeah. Uh huh. You can come out. There we go. There you go. Yep. All clear. You can see how the abdomen here is real swelled up. That's because the chick swallowed the whole egg yolk right before coming out or absorbed it all into their rear. This is why day old chicks can be shipped through the mail because they have a supply of food and fluid. Alright, so now he's kind of kicking his way out, like as if he's still in the egg. And this is, I think that's part of why it's important for them to break themselves out if possible, is it helps kind of strengthen them and get them going in the right direction. But this guy was, I don't think it would have made it out. I think it would have been trapped and died. So it was the right decision to help it out. It should get itself worked out. Get those legs untangled in a little bit. So I'm going to stick it back in the incubator now. And give it some time to kind of recuperate. Okay. This little guy hasn't got his legs figured out. I just put him back in there. This is pretty normal for them to be real discombobulated and not able to walk or anything like that for a bit. chick. Maybe a little more violent than usual, but I think he'll, or she, will recover just fine. I'll give it some time, see how it does. See how the little guy is doing. Oh, much better. Hey, Chicky. You ready to go join the others? More like it. first pip. I can feel the chick moving around, but you notice that the pip is at the small end of the egg. And that's not where it's supposed to be, so I'll likely end up having to help this one out too. Let's see. I can pretty much tied off and put guy back. Thank you. 
sitting there. That's the one we had to peel the shell off. The others are still pretty young. Now we'll spray these ants with some soaked fresh. 